Okay, so the first thing you want to do as always is prime your face and for this I'm using the Too Faced Prime and Poreless Pure. This is really good for sensitive skin and what I do is I just take a size about that much, put it on the back of my hand, go ahead and just use my fingers and blend it in. I mainly put it on my T-zone because that's the spot that I need the most help staying covered because during the summertime it's very hot and my T-zone gets super oily. So the foundation I have been using and absolutely loving is the Lifting and Firming from Boots Number no. 7. And I am in the color Almond, which is just like this. Um, I had this color before and it was just too, too, too dark for me, but it works now. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And this is good for dark circles underneath your eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and just apply it just like that. And then I just use my fingers, look up, and blend it in. And I like that this one's actually a little bit lighter for my skin tone. Because once I put my foundation on, it just blends very nicely with um, the foundation and gives my under eyes a little bit of a brightness, which I enjoy. So that's just like that. Now I'm going to take my foundation that I just showed you guys. And I just put this on the back of my hand. And then I also put a little bit of um, moisturizer on my hand to make this more of like a tinted moisturizer than a foundation. And then I just rub it together with the lid of this. And then I take my e.l.f.'s powder brush, which looks just like this guy, and just start stippling it onto my face. When you're putting on foundation, you can pin your hair back to make sure you're not getting your hair dirty from the foundation. But I'm kind of in a rush. I'm on my way to work. Well, I need to be on my way to work very soon. So I'm just going to hurry up and do it. Don't forget right around your eyes, your upper lip, and always make sure you drag it down because you do want it ultimately to match your jawline. As you can see, I would say that that foundation gives me more of a full, medium to full coverage. So now I'm just going to take the Real Deal Concealer by Laura Geller and I'm in the shade Medium. And I just put a little bit on my finger and then I just put it everywhere where I think I need extra coverage. So I have a few active breakouts. Around my nose gets red. This um, concealer also gives full coverage so I really enjoy it. And then a little bit goes a long way with this concealer so I just wipe off the rest on the back of my hand with a paper towel. Next, I'm going to take my Laura Geller Balance and Brighten, and I am in the shade Medium. And it looks just like this. I absolutely love this stuff. I have been talking about this for a long time, but I really do enjoy this stuff. And I'm just going to take my Real Techniques. Um, this is called a Multitask Brush. I absolutely love it. It packs on a lot of color. I'm just going to put it all over my face. Make sure once again that you're blending down to your jawline because you don't want any harsh colors. So I'm going to save my bronzer and blush for last. I'm going to go ahead and get into eyes. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids with my NYX High Definition Eyeshadow Base. And then next, since I am going to be putting a little bit of color on my eye, I'm going to be taking my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. And it just looks like this. It is just a white pencil. I absolutely love these things. And what I do is I just put it on my ring finger just like that and rub it in. So the first color I'm going to be taking is this Urban Decay color and it is called Flash. And it is just this absolutely gorgeous purple. I actually just um, put this in my favorites video. Because I have to say hands down this is my favorite purple that I've found so far. So I'm just going to dab it right in there. And put this in the inner third of my eyelid. Don't worry about harsh edges. We're going to be fixing that. You just want this to go in the inner third. Something that's also nice about this color is you can build it up to how deep of a purple you would want it. So I usually do just like two coats of this color. And also leave this color handy 
because you're going to be reapplying it later. So now I'm going to take my Naked 2 palette and I'm going to go in with the color Verve, which is this guy right here. And then just put this on the rest of your eyelid and blend it in with that purple. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this angled um, eyeshadow brush by e.l.f. And I'm going to go in the co with the color Pistol, which is right next to Verve. That's Verve that we used on the eyelid, and now we're going to go with Pistol. And just get it right on the angled eyeshadow brush. Make like a little V, but also drag Pistol into the crease. I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush, make sure it's clean. I haven't washed this in like a couple of days, so I'm just going to wipe it off on a little um, handkerchief, not handkerchief, but I'm just going to wipe it off on a towel. And then just go through and blend. And you can actually drag it up too if you would like. Okay, so with that same brush, I'm going to go in with this color right here, and this is called Tease. I'm just going to get it right on here and blend this up above my crease, more towards the brow bone. And now for highlight, you can use whatever you want to use. I really like these two colors in this palette. It's called Foxy, and then this one's called Booty Call. So what I normally do is just use that same blending brush, and I just dip it in there and just drag it right underneath my lash, or my um, brow bone. You can also take that into your inner corner to brighten that guy up a little bit. All right, so we're pretty much done with the eye look. If you want to, you can go back and reapply the purple to make the inner corner a little bit brighter, but sometimes I like how it just looks like the purple's peeking through like very slightly. So I'm just going to reapply it very gently. Because I like when you're just looking at my eyes and you can see the little bit of purple just shining through. So for your bottom lash line, you can choose to do whatever you want. You don't have to put color there if you do not want to. But I always like to have a little bit of something. So I am going to take just this little pencil brush. And there is so many options you can do. I'm trying to stick with this palette. So you could either do like Tease, you could do Verve or Pistol. You could do any of these you want. If you want more of a bronzy underneath, you can do any of the copper colors. But for this look, I'm actually, I'm actually going to take a smaller brush too. I'm actually going to take this one. And I'm just going to put Verve underneath and then Pistol also. There's been times when I want a real purple look. So I will take Foxy, which is the purple color we used today, and smudge that underneath, and that's a really pretty look. Okay. So that is what the finished makeup look is going to look like, and you can also take the blending brush again, go underneath, make sure that is all blended. You can also go up here again, make sure everything is just very blended nicely. Okay. So now I'm going to line my bottom lash line. What I do when I line my bottom lash line is I take my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil and I also take my Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner and I line both of those. So I do the white first. And I felt like when I use the white first as like a base almost for my black, it makes my eyeliner last longer. So little tip from you to me. So I'm going to go in, put the black... And then all you have left to do is um, line your top lash line and curl your lashes and then put mascara on and I'll show you guys the finished look.
Okay, so this is what the finished look should look like once you apply your mascara and your eyeliner. For eyeliner, I use my Revlon Colorstay Liquid Eye Pen. And then for mascara, I first used my CoverGirl Lash Perfection just to um, separate my lashes. Then I went in with my Urban Decay Lush Last Mascara, which I have been loving lately. I really enjoy the brush. It lengthens and separates all of my lashes beautifully. And then, as you guys know, my favorite mascara of right now is my Big Fatty by Urban Decay, so I finished it off with this. This just gives me the overall fullness and thickness that I like. So now let me show you really quick what I'm going to be doing on my... um.